Hello, good evening, everybody. Welcome to a new class. Uh, this is the class number 12, class number 12. No. So it means that we have hmm, eight classes left. Solo ocho classes. Aparte de eso. Okay, so that's uh, really possible. So here we have Jeanette. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? I'm very good. Perfect. I like to hear that. Okay, very nice. Here we have also Carly. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Everything in order? Yeah, I can't complain. Perfect. And you? Let me see the report. So, my los reportes. Okay. Let me check. So, let me revise algo. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So um, let me show you the topic for tonight. It's this, how to use should and should not. Como utilizar eh, estos auxiliares. And in this case, uh, let me show you this. The pronunciation is should, ok, should, porque en los días anteriores algunos de ustedes me han dicho wold, cold, y no, necesito que eh, practiquemos esto, ¿verdad? En el caso de las palabras anteriores, este se pronuncia could. La otra se pronuncia would. Y esta se pronuncia should. Si se dan cuenta, la O y la L en las tres son omitidas. ¿Ok? Could, would, should. Could, would, should. No problem with this. ¿Ok? Very simple because you can notice the pattern in here. Pueden ver el, el patrón bien marcado. Could, would, should. Okay, so uh, let's move to the topic indeed. But before we continue, here we have this. There are different types of mood. Okay, you can say hungry, eh, cuando estén hambrientos, thirsty, sedientos, sleepy. Somnoliento o con sueño, upset, disgustado, worried, que es preocupado. Pero tenemos también otros. Bored, que es aburrido. Let's see. Angry, que es enojado. We have some others, for example. Excited, que es emocionado. Emocionada, ok, excited, excited. Voy a poner acá. Excited. Se escucha, se ve raro cómo se la pronunciación. But that's the way. Bored, angry, excited. Let me see what else do we have here. Mm. Disappointed, decepcionado, decepcionada. Okay, bored, angry, 
excited, disappointed, interested, porque se recuerdan con ING es interesting, interesting, pero con ED es interested. Okay, so I'm going to call uh, one by one, check the attendance list, and you said uh, hungry, si están hambrientos. Este es hungry y este es angry. Hungry, hambriento, angry, enojado. Son diferentes. Sleepy, eh, con sueño, somnoliento, upset, upset, disgustado. Thirsty, thirsty, sediento, worried, preocupado. Bored, eh, aburrido, angry, enojado, excited, emocionado, disappointed, decepcionado, interested, interested, interesado. Okay, so uh, I'm going to call you one by one and you pronounce one of these words, even the words here in in the picture or the ones that I have already written or la que escribí. Okay, we're going to start with Abel. Hello, Abel, are you there? Está por ahí. Abel Edenilson. Hello, Dich. Okay, hello, my friend. Angry. Okay, angry, thank you. We have Alexandra is moving, uh, Brenda, I don't know if Brenda is there. Okay, so let's continue with Cesar is moving, Douglas. I don't know if Douglas is here, okay, Elia. Hello. Hello, Elia, okay, what's the word that you select? Excited. Okay, excited. Fatima. I know Fatima is moving. Teacher. Okay, thank you. What's your word? Sleepy. Okay, sleepy. Uh, Fernando, are you there? Okay, maybe not. Flor, what about you, Flor? Yes, I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, Flor, uh, Fernando, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, sleepy. Okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Fernando. Thank you, Flor. We go now with Gisela. Present teacher. Good night. Okay. Hello. Good evening. What about you? Uh, hungry. Hungry. Very nice. And Jose Mauricio is moving. Uh, Juancito is not here. Uh, Julissa is moving. Carly. Hi, teacher. Hello there. Mm, upset. Upset. Okay. Very nice. Um. Here we have Laura. Guadalupe. No. Marvin and Nilsson. I'm here. Okay, Marvin. Sleepy. Sleepy. Thank you. What about Janet? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Janet. Good evening. Excited. Okay, excited. Thank you. And here we have also Odali. Do we have no by the moment? Uh, Hello, Oscar? teacher. Okay, Odali, what about you? Este, voy entrando, teacher. No sé. Me okay, no problem. Maybe later. Tal vez después. Vamos, Oscar. No, Oscar. Uh, what about Kevin? Present teacher. Okay, Kevin. What about you? Hungry. Okay. Thank you. And Liliana? Not here. Okay, Mario. Present teacher. Okay, hello Mario, what's your word? 
Uh, sleepy teacher. Sleepy, very nice. No, eh? Okay, and Adriana. Present teacher. Okay, Adriana, what about your word? Uh, sleepy too. Sleepy too. Okay, and thank you. Too. Okay, very nice. Well, uh, tonight it's Friday, viernesito, ya para ir pues finalizando la semana. Pero remember, mood significa como un estado de ánimo, significa como, ¿sí? Como, ¿cuál es el mood? ¿Cuál, cuál es, digamos, eh, el tipo de energía que traes? Hungry, sleepy, upset, thirsty, worried. Puede ser bored, angry, excited, disappointed, and interested. Ok. Let's move uh, to the rest. And let's see here. Yesterday we were studying could. Estuvimos estudiando lo del could, right? So in this case, um, here I have some questions and some possible answers. So I need you to read the questions and read the answer. Porque algunos de ustedes les pregunto y solo me leen la respuesta. Eh, si les pido que lean la pregunta es para que practiquemos, practice, improve our uh, pronunciation and all those uh, Topics, okay. So uh, in this case, uh, here we have. Let me see. Four. I have sixteen. Sixteen questions. Okay. So we're going to complete this worksheet and uh, just take a look at this. I'm going to give you one second. Well, like five or ten seconds. Dale una revisada a a estas oraciones y les consulto. listen this case uh, to Mario and then we go with Marvin okay Mario select one select uh, pronounce the question and pronounce the answer please okay the number one <laughs> could the you tell one. me how much it cost uh-huh and the answer is that model is one hundred dollars Thank you, very nice, perfect. Marvin, and then we go with Adriana. Excuse me, could I have some information? Mm -hmm. And the answer, yes, how can I help you? What do you want to know? Perfect, good one. And we go with Adriana and then Gisela. Okay, um, I don't know. Um, could I use your phone? Mm -hmm. oh, um, I'm sorry. I try not to speak so fast. Mm, not really. Puedo usar tu teléfono? Podría usar tu teléfono? Mm, lo siento, intentaré no hablar tan rápido. Mm, no, course. it was the first one. La primera opción que ibas a decir. Of course. Mm -hmm. Dial. Dial nine. Dial. Today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice to get. Of course, that dial. Uh, nice to get on outside line. Thank you. Good. Gisela, number four, please. And uh, could you send me confirmation? Of course. Okay. I don't know. You'll get in the post tomorrow. Okay. Very nice. And let's continue with the rest, and then we go with Carly, and then Abel. Okay. Uh, can I speak to Mr. DuPont, please? Mm, certainly, who's calling? Perfect. Abel, and then Janet. Can I leave him a message? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. 
sure. No, sorry. I am off the airport in few minutes. Casi, casi. Sería esta. Certainly. Could you wait a moment, please? Why I get the pen and paper? Puedes esperar mientras consigo papel o lápiz. Uh, thank you. Uh, we go with okay. Janet. And thank you, Abel. And then we go with uh, Odalis. Good, good. Would you give me your numbers, please? Mm -hmm. Yes, I could. I could. Um, zero, one, two, uh, one, six, five, eight, three, uh, six, uh, five, ten, and nine. Thank you. Nice. Very good. And uh, Odalis. Could you complete the number four, please? All I have to say, please. Cool, 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 cool. Mm -hmm. yes, I, uh, I am sorry. Mm, no. Not... Of course. Of course. Do you want the VAT separated? The VAT is como el, como el voucher. Okay, very nice. Let's see, here we have some others. In this case, uh, I will need the help of um, Flor and then Elia. Okay, Flor. Uh... Could I have a glass of water, please? Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And what about Elia? May I smoke her? May I smoke? Here, mm -hmm. may I smoke here? Um, I like smoking. Okay. Uh, maybe not. I'm sorry. You can smoke in the building. Porque está preguntando. May I smoke? Es como el could I? Puedo fumar? No, pero o sea, no se puede fumar en el edificio. Thank you. Uh, we go with, uh, what about Kevin? And Brenda. Okay. Claude. Claude. Could. Could. El. Su. Coffee, please. Okay. Could you get us some coffee, please? Mm -hmm. um, Could it be here? No. Uh, I, la I la idea is, um, mm -hmm, casi. No, I couldn't. Se puede, pero también. I'm sorry, but there isn't any. Thank you. Okay. Um, Brenda, can you help us? Okay, if Brenda is not ready. What about if we have Carly again? Carly? Could you call me back? Okay, in this case, could you call me back? Uh, certainly, would you like? Mm, I'm sorry, I'm off in the airport in a few minutes. Puede llamarme, puede devolverme la llamada, lo siento. Estoy en el aeropuerto, unos cuantos minutos. So, you know that in the airport it is difficult to speak. And let's check the rest. What about Mario? And then Gisela, the last ones. Here we have four. Select one, please. Okay, teacher. Could you speak up, please? Mm -hmm. Speak up. Mm -hmm. Maybe no, I couldn't. No. Casi sería este. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'll try to speak louder. La palabra cuando decimos pick up es hablar más fuerte. Louder es más fuerte. Es igual, son como sinónimos. 
I'm sorry, I'll try to speak louder. Pero bastante bien, okay? What about if we have Gisela and then Marvin? Gisela? Okay, could you help me? Could, um, could you help me? Could you help me? Sure, what would you like me to do? Thank you. And Fernando, are you there? To help me with number four, uh, number one or number four? Yeah, could you give me a hand? Mm -hmm. The answer. Of course. What do you want? Okay, thank you. And number one, here we have, could you give me a wake-up call at 7.30? Podría dar una llamada para despertarme así de 30? Yes, of course, yes, we can start course. again tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Well, now, what do we have here is this. Mention the best and the worst things in El Salvador. I guess here, creo que aquí en el, en el país tenemos buenas cosas y cosas también no tan buenas, okay? Vamos a mencionar la, lo mejor y lo peor podría ser en El Salvador. So, in this case, maybe we can start uh, this round with Flor. Can you start, please? Okay. Uh, the best thing is that we are entrepreneurs and the worst thing is that we always look for defects. Okay, okay. We are entrepreneurs. Somos emprendedores. Yeah. Definitely Salvadorians yeah. are good workers, yes. And something negative or the worst is that we always look for the worst or the <sighs> The, the uh, defect okay. of something, right? We always look for the negative aspect or something, and that's true, Flor. I have seen that. Something happens, something good, you say, hey, good, yes, but, yes, but. Entonces, como que siempre el pero, el sí, pero es que no es como me gusta, como quisiera. Oh, Salvadorian are so special. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Flor. Very nice. And in this case, uh, we're going to have now Adriana and Elia. Adriana, what about you? Maybe she's not ready. Elia, what about you? Um, the best of El Salvador, the beaches, and um, one of the person. Okay, yes, the beaches are mm. nice. Muchas playas buenas. Uh, the world of El Salvador, the insurance, um, public health system. Uh, public uh, health system, system de salud. Yes, mm. that's, that's really negative. A lot of things yes. that can be improved and it has like a lot of years, tiene años. Sí. It has yes. a lot of years uh, like uh, with all the negative aspects. Okay. Thank you, Elia. Maybe one of the, the, the worst things of the public uh, health system is that if you are sick and you go to the doctor, you have to wait almost all the day to uh, waiting for the doctors to, to, and that's really bad because you are sick with the hemperma, so you don't want to be there, you want to be at home, but well. Uh, thank you, uh, Elia. Now let's listen to Marvin and then Janet. Marvin, are you there? One of the best things of El Salvador is his, tropic, his tropical food, yep. typical food. Yeah, because we have a lot of typical food and it's so delicious. Yeah. But worst things is the insecurity in the country. Yep, yep, I agree with you, Marvin. And the typical food is we have a lot of variations. If you can count the typical food, we have different dishes, different options, okay? 
And sometimes it depends on the season. A veces depende de las temporadas. And so, but anyway, we have good because food and all the people that have visited El Salvador from any other country, they love our food. They, and especially pupusas, but they love our food because it is like that. And the yep, negative aspect is insecurity. There's a lot of crime and violence even in El Salvador. Thank you, Marvin. Good points. And we go with Janet, and then we're going to listen to Mario. Best and the worst thing in Salvador. Yep. Uh, very hardworking people. Mm. A negative. A lot of congestion in San Salvador. Yep, that's it. Thank you. Even I have uh, listened a lot of comments about people. Uh, immigrant people in the United States, and they always say that Salvadorians are good workers, very good yes, yes. Uh, employees, because uh, Salvadorians work in whatever, whatever area, in yes. lo que sea. And yes, the congestion in uh, this, maybe mainly in the center of the cities, in the urban areas, yes. a lot of outreach. Yes always crowded with cars, people, businesses, a lot of things. Thank you very much, uh, Janet. Mario? Mm -hmm. Yes, my friend, mm -hmm. what's your opinion? Is the food. Food. Is the food. Yes. And the worst is traffic jam. Traffic is everywhere. Yep. That's it. Well, uh, related to food, uh, even Salvadorian <laughs> eat uh, national flour. Hasta la flor nacional se come los salvadoreños. But, uh, yep, we have a variety of food, not only typical food, but some others. And the worst is the traffic jam, as you mentioned. If you compare five years ago to now, uh, today is the worst. Is the worst level. Está en los peores niveles de de tráfico, but that is going to uh, increase the level. Va a incrementar todavía los niveles, because we have we have a lot of cars. We have a, a lot of cars in Salvador. It is a very small country with bad streets, calles malas. We we need a, a very clear improvement. Necesitamos mejora. So if you take one hour to go from your house to your to your job or one hour and a half, maybe in the next five years or three years, that is going to increase by incrementar el tiempo. So we're going to have worst traffic jams. Right, Mario? Okay. In your case, Mario, how much uh, do you take traveling from your house to your job? I can hear you, but uh, one hour and a half. No sé por qué no te escucho, pero sí, leí medio. One hour and a half. Well, it's, uh, you have to wake up early and sometimes to avoid traffic jam, we have to wake up earlier. Para evitar tráfico, a veces nos levantamos todavía más temprano. And that is going to be escalating. Va a estar Aumentando eso. Very difficult. Okay, Mario, maybe you can fix the microphone later because I don't know what happened. Teacher, you asked. Ah, Ajá. Ah, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. Sorry, sorry. ¿Por qué estás haciendo, Mario? What are you doing? Los audífonos, lo siento, teacher. Okay. The headphones. Okay. Um, I, I have one hour in the house because my job is is near to San Juan of Pico. Mm -hmm. so, and Mop is work in a redonda. Oh, on the redonda. street, yes, on the yes, on uh, the round street. So it's very it takes difficult. more time. Yes, it's very difficult to to pass fast because everyone everybody wants to pass in the same time. Mm -hmm. So the traffic. Yeah. 
Yes, ok, yes. It is like a, a bottle, casi como de, de botella, ¿verdad? Yes. Botellamiento. So, yes, I know that's really difficult. You need patience and don't be desperate. No you need only headphones and music and that's it. Oh, and that's it. And you are okay, waiting. Anyway, then I can more more. Okay, thank you, Mario. Very nice. And so let's continue with this. And here we have this. Okay. Question, Mario. Por acá cerca están programando música aquí en mi casa. Se escucha algo de música en el micrófono. No. No. Okay. Perfect. That's nice. No, no se escucha. Good. Sí, es que la gente ya dice que quién sabe como que es viernes. Okay. Ni modo. Eh, react to appropriate and inappropriate. Bien rara esta palabra. I know that it is not so. It is like weird. Appropriate, inappropriate. Apropiado o inapropiado. Behavior significa comportamiento. Remember, in the companies, in everywhere, we have different types of behavior. Even the customers have one type of behavior, but sometimes it changes. Or uh, the customer service, a veces la gente que está al servicio del cliente, they are really negative, especially who was, who mentioned Seguro Social, I don't remember who, who said, that the national uh, health system, some, I have experienced that, that you want to ask for appointment, vas a pedir como una cita or whatever, and there are some secretaries there, they have a really negative, negative uh, behavior or negative attitude. So that's inappropriate behavior. But well, it depends on different cases because there are some others that they are very polite. Hay otros que son amables, but unfortunately, mm, we have to face this. Okay, so in this, Right. Okay, um, let's see. Does your company have regulations about employees' behavior? Name three examples of unacceptable behavior in your company. Bien, traten de pensar en un comportamiento inaceptable. Unacceptable behavior in your company. In every company, they have rules. Tienen como reglas, okay? O un reglamento. So that's why uh, every employee has to follow those rules. Tienen que seguir esas reglas. Other, otherwise, you can be fired, you know? Pueden despedir. So depends on every case is because mm, there are some customer or clients that are really difficult, like clientes tan difíciles, but you, you mentioned unacceptable behavior in your company, algo que no puede ser aceptado, okay? In, in el trabajo donde ustedes están. We start with Fatima, good evening, Fatima, hello there. How are you tonight? Good tonight. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Everything okay? Okay. Okay, Fatima. ¿Qué eh, comportamiento sería inaceptable en tu compañía? Unacceptable behavior. Eh... Think, ab think about eh, attitudes or situations. Actitudes o situaciones por las cuales han despedido a alguien. Reasons. Why sí. somebody anybody has been fired eh, revelar información de los clientes teacher oh yeah yeah yes to filter information personal information of the clients definitely yeah. yes you, you you cannot even that's illegal creo que es ilegal de hecho because you sí. talk, you manage that information that is really private, the private. Thank you, Fatima. What about if we listen in this case to Abel and then Laura? Hello. Hello, Abel. 
eh, comportamiento inapropiado en tu trabajo. What could it be? Example. Children know that the meeting. I'm sorry? No, have the meeting. Ah, yes. Don't attend to the meeting. Okay. Even uh, same it happens when you don't assist to your job and you don't say anything cuando no van al trabajo y no se dice nada. So that's a, a really big problem. Okay, thank you, Abel. And okay. thank you. What else? Laura, I don't know if you are there. Um, maybe Adriana. No yet? Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello, Laura. Uh, pero no sé cómo decir. Um... Intenta. Es una compañera en su hora de almuerzo regresó ebria, como digo así. <risa> ¿Y quién la, sí. vos, la notaste? Eh, lo que pasa es que hizo show, entonces todo ah, le Ah, that was a problem. Okay. Video. ok. Eh, get drunk in the company or assist, assist to work drunk. Drink es el verbo beber. Mm -hmm. Drunk es el pasado, bebía o bebí, pero drunk eh, significa bebido o tomado, como nosotros decimos, ah, no hombre, es que este Mario andaba tomado. So imagine, yo sé que Mario no lo hace, es un alma inocente. Okay. <laughs> well, Twice a week. So drunk. drunk. Okay. And so got drunk in the company. Y contanos qué hizo. Eh, lo que pasa es de que, bueno, salió a su hora de almuerzo y ya, yo creo que ya había empezado a tomar. Entonces, porque en su bolso andaba una botellita de alcohol. Oh, alcohol. Desde okay. Desde okay. And, but Pero... in, during the, eh, what? He's working hours, durante la, la hora laboral empezó entonces. Sí, porque ah, de ah. hecho, o sea, ya, ya ella no se veía normal. Incluso se fue antes de su hora de almuerzo. Y la vimos así completamente rara, un comportamiento bien extraño. Y ya cuando regresó, hasta se discutió con mi jefa y todo. O sea, ya fue realmente, ya regresó bastante pasada de, de su Ay, pues sí, 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 se pasó de sabor. Unfortunately, sí. yes, that, that, that's really, you can't do that. Definitivamente no puede hacer eso. Ok, <laughs> thank you, Laura. Ok, and who else? What about Douglas? Are you there? Yes, teacher. Ok, comportamiento inaceptable. Example. Um, my company... Uh, is in unacceptable uh, drink uh, beers or alcohol uh, is yeah. a zero uh, in this moment uh, is a zero zero tolerance tolerance yes yeah. okay yes working hours are sacred thank you <laughs> similar to laura I creo que el, la misma compañera tuvieron los dos okay what about uh, marvin and mario for example, don't use the uniform. Oh, yep. Don't use the uniform. That's, oh. that's part of the, the rules in the company. Good one. Uh, Mario and Flor. Hello, teacher. In my company, the employees' relationships is not allowed. Allowed. Uh, allowed, yes. Eso significa permitido. Allowed. Permitido. Mm -hmm. Solo el verbo allow es permitir. Pero allowed, como es pasado participio, con ed, regular, allowed. So, a personal relationship, okay, uh, it is not allowed. Sí, that, that's very common. Thank you, uh, Flor and Janet. In, in my company for arriving drunk. Arriving drunk, similar. Creo que han tenido los mismos compañeros ustedes. Ok, thank you. Thank you, Flor. Uh, what about Janet? And then we go with uh, Fernando. 
Um, in a sex ball in, in company, hmm? um, sexual har harassment. Harassment, harassment. Okay. Harassment. Sí, acoso. Yeah, definitely mm -hmm. even, it is not just by partners, but also with bosses or supervisors that it, it, it might happen. Okay, thank you, Janet. Very nice. And what about if Fernando, and then we go with Cesar. Well, in my case, um, is when I attended the call of the customer, I remember that uh, the customer crying in the line because yep. uh, they buy a ticket of the travel agency and and I said yo le dije como que ya yeah, it's not my problem you lost your your money mm -hmm. yeah I'm so sorry <laughs> okay so that that's something maybe uh, there wasn't uh, too much empathy, como que no hubo mucha empatía. So, yeah, but actually it was not your problem, not the problem, definitely, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. it's not my problem, okay. <laughs> yeah, but maybe the, the attitude sometimes and related to customer, uh, yeah, customer service. Thank you. What about Cesar? And then we go with um, Gisela. In my work, there is several, zero tolerance for getting high ah yeah that's another mm -hmm. that's another yes and that's a good excuse for you to be fired mm -hmm. getting high thank you uh, what about um gisela and then we go with kevin okay uh no no utilizar como se dice don't use don't use the equipment security equipment security equipment mm -hmm. yes. that's so important mm -hmm. the helmet or or the gloves okay lo guante eh, o casco or whatever yeah eh, más que todo el casco y el chaleco porque eh, estamos en un taller oh yeah yeah so that, that's really important Yes. yes, thank you. Uh, lo que pasa, the problem is that the company may have insurance problems. Puede tener dificultades o problemas con el seguro. So the company avoids those types of situations. Evita este tipo de situaciones. Thank you, Gisela. And yes. Kevin, Kevin, if you are there. All right, present, John. Okay. Um, yes, my... Final, final word. Mm, sorry. Funded wall. Oh, okay. Well, there are different types of attitudes. And remember that we as employees, we do good things, but sometimes we make mistakes. I mean, cometemos errores, but we have to follow the rules. Like I say, las reglas. That's it. Follow the rules, do your best, and you're going to be a, a good employee. Okay. And now, what do we have here? It's a conversation between Claudia and Raúl. Como le dicen los gatos cuando en el techo. Okay. I can't believe Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? Está utilizando el did. Okay. Did you see him? Okay. You're right. He should not chat in the meeting. Absolutely. No, absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. Okay, there are some new words, maybe new words. Okay, so here we have addicted. Como les dije, después de la T, si va a addicted, invited, and that, that's it. No puedo creer que Roberto es adicto a su teléfono. Did you see him? ¿Lo viste? No es do you see him. Porque si alguien le dice do you see him, ¿lo ves? Es diferente que did you see him? ¿Lo viste? You're right. Tiene razón. He should not chat on, in the middle. No debería eh, chatear en, el, en la reunión. Absolutamente. No es eh, amable o no es cortés. It's, that's not polite. 
eh, debería responder sus mensajes después de las reuniones y nosotros no deberíamos de hablar sobre él. Eso no es cortés tampoco, either, tampoco. Agree, estoy de acuerdo. We should help him instead. Deberíamos de ayudarlo en lugar de, well, de instead significa en lugar de o en vez de. ¿Verdad? De acuerdo. En vez de eso, deberíamos de ayudar. Ok. So, addicted. Did you see him? Absolutely. Ok, recuerden. Absolutely. La E no se pronuncia. Either. Instead. Instead. Ok. Maybe we can have a screenshot. I don't know. Mario, can you help me? Maybe to send uh, the picture in case of some of you don't have this conversation. In case of that no, no tengan the conversation. Okay, if Mario can help me, si no puede Mario, ya vamos a ver quién. Maybe uh, Cesar, can you help me? By sending this? Yes, teacher. Thanks, my friend. Oh, ya la tenemos. Mario la envió. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, Mario. Okay, we're going to have this short conversation for a while, en un momento. I'm going to check the breakout rooms. Vamos a revisar los breakout rooms. Just give me a second. Okay, see you in a moment. Dicho que tengo problemas con el internet, no me sacó y me volvió a meter. Ok, ya veo. Revise en estos momentos.
Good evening, teacher. Hey, everything okay? No problem. Eh, sí, no, no. Okay. No Excellent. escucho a los demás colegas. Que eh, lo que pasa es que están en grupos reducidos, en breakout, están practicando. Pero ya, ahorita, ya volvemos. Ah, okay, ya. Yeah. Me voy yeah. a integrar después. Ajá. Yeah, perfect. No, we're okay. Thank you, thank you. Chévere, And chévere, gracias. Let's... Okay, you're welcome. So, uh, my friends, welcome back. Here we have okay. this um, conversation. Maybe we can have this. Uh, Flor, who was your classmate? Janet, teacher. Janet, okay. Flor, ¿cómo sigues de la garganta? Creo que andabas un poco mal la vez pasada. Ya me siento un poco mejor. Ayer me sentía bastante mal, pero ya hoy ya me siento mejor. Okay, perfect. Es que me, 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 me llené de fuego. O sea, okay. me ha dado como herpes y ayer sentía calentura de lo mismo. Sí, sí, y... sí. Eso realmente te, te deja mal. Te deja sin Ajá, ánimo. Entonces ya me siento mejor, pero sí, ayer me sentía bien, bien mal. Oh, me alegra que esté mejor. Gracias. Hello, José. Hello, good evening, José. Pero bueno, Flor, mi abuelito tenía un, una medicina especial para dolor de garganta. He was to have. Eh, conseguí una bebida de chalate, decía él. Así que era bastante. Ah, sí, pero es que eso hay que tomar mucho fresco porque es calor. Es correcto, porque uh -huh. es calor acumulado. Así decían mis tías, que era como calor acumulado. Y estrés también. No, eh, acuérdate que todo eso desencadena, desencadena. Así que saludos sí. a Mario que está con su tecito o café, creo. Ya dice que él va a de, de disminuir la soda, dice Mario. That's good for Yo him. tengo té de jengibre. Uh, yes, that's good, really good. Okay, very nice. Sí. Okay, Flor. Uh, please, with Janet. Claudia and Raúl. Please. Y Janet. Janet. Sí. Sí, sí. Okay, go ahead, girls. Yeah. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You are right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely, that is not polite. He should answer his message after the meeting and we should not talk about him. That's not possible either. either. I agree. We, have, we should help him instead. instead. Very nice. Instead, yes. Instead. Instead, yeah, that's it. So, um, Very nice, uh, good pronunciation, should and shouldn't, ¿verdad? Entonces, should significa debería, shouldn't, shouldn't, como couldn't, wouldn't, fíjense que también esto se parece bastante, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Couldn't, eh, wouldn't, Shouldn't, así. Shouldn't, shouldn't. So that's uh, really important how to know these patterns. Okay. Um, let's continue with this. And here we have. What are some polite behaviors you expect from your coworkers? What are some rude behaviors your coworkers are not expected to do? Okay. So we're going to do this uh, activity, but here we have behavior. Look, uh, the way that someone acts in different situations, the way that someone acts in different situations. So maybe, Oscar, can you help us with number one? No, you're the one reading number one. Yeah. The company. Uh, Permítame. Can ah, sí, see? pero sí, sí, ahorita sí. Okay. The company, this, the company expects policy behavior from all the employees. Good, polite. Mm -hmm. That's what the polite. company expects. Eso es lo que espera la compañía, polite behavior, comportamiento amable. 
Okay, yes, uh -huh. that's it, yes. Okay, thank you. What about Jose, number two? Interrupting. Okay, uh, interrupting other people when uh, they speak is not a good uh, behavior. Be behavior. Yes, thank you. Yes, interrupt. Imagine a person is speaking or explaining something and you interrupt. That's not a good behavior. No es un buen comportamiento interrumpir. Más cuando alguien está emocionado e inspirado. And here we have uh, number three. And for number three, we're going to have um, what about Elia? Gossiping. Gossiping about co-worker oh. is, is rude. rude behavior. Behavior. Mm -hmm. behavior. Gossiping, okay. Gossiping significa el chambre, el chisme, el chicle. Okay, so when you say gossip, es un verbo. Chismear, inventarse cosas. Yo sé que usted jamás lo haría, jamás en su vida lo haría. Nunca, nunca, never, never. Pero uh, there are some other people, pero hay otras personas que possible, yes, they do. So, gossiper is eh, chismoso, chambroso. So, in the companies or in the office, in everywhere, in everywhere, there is always one gossiper. There's one person who provides information. And Something negative in this is that that person changes or adds more information. La cuestión acá es que la, la gente no solo da la información, sino que le cambia, agrega. Oh, so that's part of the problem, okay? So, uh, gossiping. We're going to do this. No, vamos a tardar unos tres minutos. Solo necesito que haga dos de cada uno. This. Number one. What are some polite behaviors you expect from your co-workers? ¿Cuáles son, eh, what's, what are some polite, ¿Cuáles son comportamientos amables que tú esperas de tus compañeros de trabajo? Por ejemplo, what expects Mario from his co-workers? ¿Qué esperas, Mario, de, de tus compañeros de trabajo y todo eso, bla, bla, bla? Ok, we're going to work in it. Ok, que me lleven comida, dice Mario. Que compartan el dessert, el postre, eso es muy importante. Number two. What are some rude behaviors your co-workers are not expected to do? ¿Cuáles son algunos comportamientos malos, negativos, pesados? Rude es cuando algo es pesado, cuando es pésimo. Okay? ¿Cuáles son algunos comportamientos verdad, eh, pesados o pésimos que no se espera, que no se espera que tus compañeros hagan? Número uno, lo que sí se espera actitudes positivas de tus compañeros, dos, actitudes negativas que eh, se espera que no se den, ¿ok? You're going to work in groups of, yeah, in couples. Entonces, eh, me hacen una, perdón, dos de estas y dos de esas, dos actitudes buenas que se esperan de los empleados y dos actitudes que se espera que no hagan los empleados, ¿ok? We're going to work in the same pairs, vamos a trabajar en las mismas parejas, ¿ok? So there's not going to there's not going to be a problem. Okay. So um los veo en un momento. Vamos a trabajar con las mismas personas. Okay. See you in a couple of uh, moments. No sé si le van a tomar captura, si es necesario, creo que no, ¿verdad? Dos actitudes que se espera de sus compañeros. Good. Eh, y dos actitudes negativas que se espera que no tengan, o sea, evitar esas dos actitudes. Ok. See you in a moment, my friends.
Ok, Oscar, eh, necesito que aceptes la solicitud para la sala 11. Oscar, uh, yes, va a ser a sala 11. Es necesario aceptar la solicitud. Thank you.
So I want to hear some of your answers, some of your opinions. Okay, so the Mario lleva que sus dos tazas de té or café or whatever, lo que sea que esté tomando. Okay, Mario, tell me one and one. Okay, one, uh, uh, well, positive attitude and one negative attitude. Okay, the positive, um, be responsible or, or loyalty. Oh, nice. Yes, responsible uh -huh. or loyalty or loyal. Mm -hmm. And negative? And negative, uh, don't be messy. Yeah, that's it. In messy with uh, in different aspects, right? With paperwork, uh, with your uh, workplace and all those. Thank you, Mario. Let's listen to Cesar. What about you, Cesar? And the other that you work, one positive and one negative. Uh, seria positive, mutual respect. Yep. And please and negative. And no, no, it's in positive, pleasant work environment. Okay, pleasant work and environment. And negative, that they be clean and don't be rude. Yeah, double root and clean all the time. Thank you. Uh, what about in this case, Fernando? Uh, do you have one positive and one negative attitude? Positive. Yep. Okay. Mm, which one? Okay, maybe we're going to wait. And what about uh, Elia? Do you have one positive and one negative? Um, a positive um, teamwork. Yeah, teamwork. Uh, negative, uh, that the watering chart my work. Okay, thank you, very nice. What about here we have Jose Mauricio, one positive and one negative? Uh, positive sería give it the thanks dar como las gracias mm -hmm. give thanks um, or be grateful ser agradecido huh? yes. sí uh, um, char is not a uh, why no sé para todos everybody mm -hmm. to everybody. everybody thank you mm -hmm. and what about the other uh, negative perdón Yep. Uh, no respect uh, the lunch hour. Ah, uh, yes, don't respect the lunch hour. Yeah, good one. Thank you. What about uh, Carly? Do you have one positive? Hello, everything okay, Carly, with your pet? I don't know. I guess uh, his neck hurts. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Are, are you yeah, planning to, to take it to, to the vet? I don't know because I don't have money. Okay, yes, I know. Tocar a Cofal. Tal vez. Cofalito. Porque llora mucho. Y ya está viejito. Ah, okay. How old? ¿Qué edad tiene? Ten years. Yes, yes. It's old. Ya está viejito el pobre. Y ya le pasó una vez, así que no sé. Fui a la Chivopet y me eché toda la noche. Ahí vine como a las 12 y nunca me atendieron. Desde las 5 de la tarde. Ah, sí. tanto así. Mm -hmm. Y me tocó pobre otra vez, así que ni modo. Mal servicio. Ah, de mm. verdad. It's okay. Yes, unfortunately. I'm so, so sorry. Okay, Car Carly, do you have one positive and one negative? Mm, yes, maybe it can be uh, being empathy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good one, and being empathy. A negative... Eh, lo, con, lo contrario de, de ¿cómo lo puedo decir? Como chambroso, pues que no guarda nada, comunica mucho, uh -huh. crea conflictos entre todos. Pero no sé yes, cómo definitely. Yes, of course. Uh, you can be, okay, you can 
be private, okay? Don't filter information, personal information from others. Definitely. Right. Thank you, thank you. Okay, what about uh, Kevin? Do you have one? And Fatima. I don't know if Kevin's all right. Okay, if not Fatima, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, positive. Mm -hmm. Sympathy for the death of a family member. Yep. Digamos, eh, sympathy. Mm -hmm. Cuando se le muere un familiar a alguien. Está empatic, ser empático, ¿verdad? Con, con eso. Yes. Yes. yes, good. And what about the other, the negative? The negative, eh, be selfish. Como mm -hmm. ser egoísta, teacher. Ajá, don't be selfish. Yes, that's it. Good one, good word. Yes. Thank you. Yes, very nice. Okay, we're going to continue with the speaking activity. Mention the best and the worst things in El Salvador. Okay, so in this case, we're going to listen. To. Carly and then Laura. Okay. The best uh, in the Salvador is the weather. The weather. So mm -hmm. variety, yes. Variety, and yes, we have. Mm -hmm. Maybe the paisaje, como se dice, teacher? Landscape. Landscape. Okay. Our mm -hmm. landscapes. We have a lot of perfect, uh, beautiful landscapes here in El Salvador. Thank you, Carly. Yeah. Yes, definitely. And if you the go. Mm -hmm. The traffic jam. And quiero ver cómo se decía. No problem. Ay, ¿dónde lo puse? Ajá. We used to throw in garbage anywhere. Yep. And that caused floods in rainy season. That caused floods y inundaciones. Estamos mal acostumbrados. If there is a park, a new park, it will be nice. Uh, for a, cert, a short period of time, very good. But then we like to destroy or to throw garbage on the street. We don't care. Even people is uh, people are driving or on the bus, on the coaster, and I can see from the windows people throwing garbage. It's something throw it. So the y plastic. Bien natural, bien fresquitos. No, they don't do it. And I have seen adults doing that, and kids see it. Cuando los adultos lo hacen, los niños lo ven y lo normaliza. That's part Pero eso of es un ciclo, todos lo ven normal. Yes, it's normal and it's not like that. Algún día vamos a cambiar eso y muchas cosas. Thank so. you. Thank you, Carly. Ok, eh, Laura, what about you? And Then Odalis. Uh -huh. Tours Play. Como uh -huh. lugar turístico. Okay, yes. Y, Touristic places. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y en yes. lo malo sería el traffic and crime, como el tráfico y el crimen, eh, la delincuencia. Yes, yes. Uh, the crime. Crime. Mm -hmm. Crime, yes. Delinquency, crime. That is something that we need to erase. Thank you. And what about uh, Odalis and Oscar? The best sería the beaches and the towns. Pueblitos, ¿cómo se dice pueblitos? Towns. Towns. Mm -hmm. Towns. Mm -hmm. Y no tenía algo malo, pero luego escuché lo de la Chivo Pets, entonces. Okay, Chivo. so I don't have any experience with Chivo Pets, but if Carly says that, if Abel says that it's about service, what a bad thing, because it has a lot of publicity and marketing, right? Es que sabe qué pasa, teacher. Es mm -hmm. que ahí lo van atendiendo por urgencia. Mientras más moribundo va, más rápido lo atienden. Pero en cambio, yo con mi chucho tieso del cuello, pues para ellos no se va a morir el chucho. Entonces nunca me pasan. Y pasan a los más graves. Y otra es que la gente que tiene cita, 
Es pura gente, pistuda, ticha. Con sus ah. chuchos ahí de raza, todos gordos, todos obesos. Y, 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 y ellos ahí estorbándole a uno que sí necesita el servicio. Really. Entonces se okay, puede man. hacer con cita, pero con bastante anticipación, me imagino. Sí, tengo que adivinar cuándo me va a morir el chucho para hacer la cita. Oh. I'm sorry, Tiene que ir en una camioneta diplomática para que le hagan caso. Okay. Sí, ajá. O, o que mi chucho aprenda a simular aquí, que convulsiona, tal vez. <risa> Enseñarle, Carly, porque pobrecito. ¿Cómo se llama tu perro? Se llama Skipper. Skipper, ok. Saltarín, ya no salta mucho, Skipper. <risa> no, no. no te rías, sí, Carly, por pobre gordo. Skipper. Por, es que está gordito, no es porque está malito, está gordito. ¿Cuánta maldad vi también? No, quizás porque mucha comida le da, ya el pobre anda ahí. Carly, Bye. ¿y por qué no prueba darle gotas de ovexicán? Ovexicán. ¿Y eso? ¿Ah? Chivo pecho es que... en línea. Bueno, Flor. No, no, a mi perro lo, el, es eso es para dolor. Es mejor sí. que eso. Eso sí me sirve. Entonces, eh, se le eso, daban Patricia. cinco gotitas. Cada 12 horas. Ajá. Ah, bueno. eso, eso es para bad? dolor. Para ah, dolor. Uh -huh. ah. ah, pues gracias. Es que mi, mi, mi perro se, que, se quebró de la mandíbula y eso le dábamos. Lo operaron. Qué dolor fuerte, perrito ese. Sí. Entonces eso le puede ayudar. ¿Cómo se llama, que... Flor? Mi perrito. Sí, y Hola. también el nombre de la medicina. La toda. Ovex, ovexican se llama, son, eh, son gotas de, eh, ¿cómo se llama el componente? ¿Cómo se llama? Eh, Spiroxican, ese es el componente, es un antiinflamatorio y para dolor. Pero, eso, eso lo dan bastante para los perritos. Ay, buena, 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 y, bueno saber. Ajá, y son gotitas que se compran, son de gotitas de gotitas de niño en la farmacia, porque son de gotero. No es muy caro entonces, para que lo venden en la farmacia. Mm, me, cuesta, ah. me acuerdo que cuesta como 8 o 10 dólares, creo que podría estar al alcance sí. de él. Y ya un perrito que está viejito ya no. Ya hay no que tiene. hacerle, sí, Carly, hay que estarle comprando cositas así, hay que quiera hacer uno. Sí. Ya no tienen remedio. Ya están Ay, viejitos. No, pues. Sí, sabe sí. que sabe que bueno para la movilidad de los huesos me les dejaron bacalao ah, que le, le diera... con... puede ser Ajá. yo le compré bacalao y se le puede dar porque dice que eso ayuda a la movilidad de los huesos ay sí es que ya está viejito y capaz eso es <risa> por ahí va la cosa sí. quizás por ahí va la cosa sí. ese es oh. para darle mejor calidad de vida un buen punto ah, pues gracias, tenchi, porque flor. no sé si se oye ahí llorando. Pero... No. No lo no traiga, pues, Carly, tampoco. No, pobrecito, se está no, cerca. Traiga, está porque, cerca. Porque, porque no, no, no lo muevo, no lo muevo, no lo muevo. Yo me acerco. Vaya, pues, Carly, me lo voy a poner ahí en la cámara para que lo vean, pobrecito. <risa> modo víctima. Va a terminar de desnucar al pobre. Por, Ay, modo no, víctima. No, no lo quiero mover. <risa> modo víctima de Skipper. Ok, thank you, Flor. Ok, nice. Vamos, pa. pray for Skipper. Esperamos que se mejore. Bien, ok, let's continue with Oscar and then Kevin. The world, the best and the worst in El Salvador. Ok, teacher. The best thing is that El Salvador has a lot of beautiful tourist places. Yeah, tourist places. Mm, a lot. Yeah. And Uh, the word is in El Salvador is that the Salvadoran selection never <laughs> qualifier for the for World the Cup. Worship, uh, for, for the uh, uh -huh. World Cup. Solo no, 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 nos ilusiona. Okay. Sí, solo yes. nos ilusiona. <laughs> yes, <laughs> okay. Yes, okay, yeah, never. Maybe someday, someday El Salvador is going to be in the World Cup. Maybe. Can classify. Uh -huh. Thank you, Oscar. Very good. We go okay, with thank you, Kevin sir. and then Fatima. Kevin, are you there? 
Well, I guess no. Um, Fatima, show time. Yes, teacher. Oh. The, the, the best, best and the worst in Salvador, yeah. Yeah. The best of El Salvador is the typical food like pupusa and yuca. Yes, uh, yuca. Delicious. The worst, yes. The worst thing about El Salvador is the attention is um, in social security. Ah, okay, yes. So, security system, the health, el, el seguro, right? <laughs> Mala atención en el seguro social. I know, I know. Um, yes. Even I have uh, noticed that if you are you are from benefits from the seguro, you have less chance to pass quickly. It's a beneficiary. Es bien diferente que, que, que si sos cotizante. But there's a quite difference, even so people can be, like Carly said, almost dying. La gente puede estar casi muriendo. And uh, the attention yeah. is really bad. It's really bad. And because mainly it's slow, porque es lenta. Sure. So people don't have money for uh, spending the day, pasar todo el día. Eh? Maybe you yes. feel bad. And even that, in, well, bad attention. Thank you for that. Good. Oh. Creo, creo que es una un sesión de catarsis. Ahora estamos ahorita sacando todo lo que nos molesta. Thank you. What about if we listen to Adriana? Are you there? Well, maybe not. But we're going to check it later. Thanks. Thanks for all the information on the chat. Good. Quizá un relajante muscular, maybe. Yes. Remember that pets are like kids. Pero las mascotas son como niños. como, right, like this. And so, um, we hope that Skipper can can be okay soon. Okay, let's continue with this. Look at the words in bold, bold and negrita, and complete the sentences below. Here we have, let me check this, so you can see it. Okay. The guard, porque no se dice guard, sino the guard, should answer my good morning greeting. El de seguridad, el guardia de seguridad debería de responder mi saludo de buenos días. Ok. Linda should greet with a firm handshake. Firm handshake. Saludo de manos. The supervisor uh, should, should use a greeting in his emails. Los supervisores deberían de usar, o el supervisor debería usar un saludo de, de buenos días o saludo ajá, en sus correos. You should say, please, when you ask for a favor. Debería de decir, por favor, cuando pides un... Cuando, please, cuando pides un favor. Okay. So let's listen to some other um, sentences in here. Jose, can you help me with uh, the first one here? Darío. Darío, uh, show, show no. Use. Uh, use many emojis 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 is his emails emails mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that you know when you write some emails it is expected to be formal Se espera que sea más formal. and you if you apply if you use emojis it is not so formal okay and what about fatima can you read the second helen and then oscar Helen should not speak so loudly. So loudly. Yes, loudly is fuertemente. There are people mm -hmm. who speak loud or loudly. Hablan fuerte. Como con un megáfono. Oscar and then Laura. Okay. Gabriel. Gabriel should not 
Tell sexist jackets. Jokes, ajá, como joker, Joke. jokes, chistes, jokes. chistes uh -huh. sexistas. Eh, Gabriel should not tell, no debería de contar, ok? Especially in the workplace, that's really uncomfortable, es incómodo. Ok, Laura, your boss. Can you your know? boss should not shout at you. Ok, good, shout. Uh -huh. Hay una canción de los Beatles que se llama así. Twist and shout. Ok. Si dicen shoot, es disparar. Ok. Ok. Eh, y si dicen shot, es disparo. Disparo o también como se le conoce, un shot de tequila. Ok. But twist and shout. En este caso, your boss should not shout at you. Tu jefe no debería de gritarte. Unfortunately, in El Salvador, that's kind of common in some companies. The bosses, they think that they are so superior and they can shout at you. And that's not, uh, that's not correct. So uh, if you notice in the first column, we have like advices, uh, advice, tenemos como sugerencias, some suggestions, cosas que deberían de pasar. And in the other part, here we have things that should not happen, cosas que no deberían de pasar. Okay. No gritar, no decir eh, chistes sexistas, no hablar tan fuerte, and so on. So, a direct suggestion. Esto es una eh, sugerencia directa. And in this case, eh, suggestion about something that is not appropriate. Algo que no es apropiado. And there are a lot of things. For example, there are some comments that some bosses do. De hecho, hay comentarios que algunos jefes hacen to the employees. Some sarcastic jokes. Algunos chistes sarcásticos. And, and that's a lot of comments that can be avoided, que pueden ser evitados. Okay. So, uh, for this, here we have this activity. Provide a suggestion about the next situation in work. So, suggestion, una sugerencia. Vamos a ver qué podría pasar. And here we have this. Or maybe we can have the pronunciation of Elia, Peter, or Peter, the light blue, this. Peter is the new supervisor. He likes to help others. He never say please. Ok, yes. Peter is the new supervisor. Mm -hmm. Le gusta dar órdenes. He never says please. Nunca dice por favor. Ok, so here, here we have. Number one, Peter should ask polite requests. Peter should say please when he asks for something. Tenemos dos tipos de sugerencias. Peter debería de pedir las cosas eh, de manera amable o, o debería decir por favor cuando pide algo. Two suggestions. Nuevo supervisor da órdenes y nunca dice por favor. Él debería decir por favor. Ok. Number two. Uh, let's listen to this. What about if we listen to Marvin? When Carl. When Carl is angry or things are not as he expects, he shoots. He shouts. Porque shoots es disparar y si dispara, <laughs> that's a problem. Okay, when Carl is angry, cuando se enoja Carl, and things are not, y, y las cosas no salen como espera. Mm -hmm. So, uh, podemos decir una sugerencia con should or should not. Por ejemplo, he should not shout. Sencillo. He should not shout or he should calm down. Podría ser si él debería de calmarse. He should calm down or he, sorry. He shouldn't shout, no debería de gritar, okay? Eh, Jose, my assistant. My assistant eh, never use, uses, uh, uses a uh, e solution. Salutation. Her, Bien raro eso. Salutation es un saludo. Uh -huh. In her, in her emails. In her emails. Yes, my assistant. 
nunca usa saludo, ¿ok? So, eh, could be, como está hablando de, de her, debe ser she. She should use salutation in her mails. Si se dan cuenta, es casi como la hora, como lo que está acá. Ok. And next, here we have Janet. Lucy likes. Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. She loves very loudly. Okay. In the office. The office. Ah, she loves very loudly. Como que ella habla, ella se ríe, ella es bien exagerada. Todos conocemos a alguien así. Eh, eh, gracioso. That's funny. But sometimes people are working. A ver, la gente trabaja y quiere estar en silencio. So, so. Lucy likes to tell jokes. In this case, and Lucy. Should be quiet when telling jokes. Porque no le podemos decir que no diga chistes. Pero que debería ser más calmada. Lucy should be quiet when telling jokes. Okay. So now that we have this, and we go with, let's go with this. Vamos a hacer, vamos a dejar esta para después. What's the name of this song? Let me see. Julissa, I don't know if you are there. Porque te tocaría a ti. Julissa. Are you ready? Okay, maybe not. Okay, if Julissa is not ready, we're going to continue with... Aquí estoy, aquí estoy, teacher. <laughs> okay, Julissa, ¿tienes lista lo de la canción? Por lo sí. menos, ajá, para presentar. Thank per you. Permítame, nice. permítame. Okay, eh, te voy a dar tiempo. Mientras, eh, le sigo preguntando a los demás. Let me see here. Mention the best and the worst things in Salvador. Uh, let's listen to Cesar. What about you? And then Abel. Um, everything is closed. Beaches, uh, mountain uh, uh, or volcanoes. And the pension system does not offer fair. It's not fair. Real, real, man. real man. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the pension system and yeah, volcanoes are so beautiful here in Salvador. Thank you, Cesar. Good points. What about Abel? I don't know if Abel is available. And then Brenda. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. The best thing about El Salvador it is Natural. Yes. Natural, uh, yes. the environment is poor for the trees. Okay. Good. And the bad thing is as it's a people in the culture. Yes. With respect to the fact that we will fill it a lot with garbage. Okay. With the garbage, garbage on the street. Um, another uh, lugar, place, place. Yes, we another were talking. Place. Yeah, we were talking about this, and the people throw a lot of garbage. We have like uh, the education, the culture, uh, being difficult. Okay, thank you, Abel. Yeah. Uh, Brenda, are you ready? And then we go with Jose Mauricio. Okay, Brenda's not ready, right? Okay, Jose Mauricio. Okay, okay. Uh, the best about El Salvador is that everything is close. Yes, that's a good advantage. Good and, advantage. Uh, Words is the traffic. Uh, mi caso in San Salvador to Soyapango. My word. Okay. 
and you take a, Soyapango, and I'm sorry, you live in Soyapango? Mm, sí, yes. Okay. okay. And no, 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 work... yo trabajo en Soyapango, perdón. Okay, you Maya. work in Soyapango. Uh -huh. Sí, yo vivo en Ayutuxepeque. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not so far, no está lejos. No, right. pero el tráfico. Yeah, but the traffic is terrible in there. Sí. So, Porque okay. agarro el tráfico de la calle del volcán, de mm -hmm. toda la gente que viene de Nejapa, que salte, mm -hmm. que va viene para el centro. Agarro el tráfico del centro, más ahora que está en remodelación. Y el de Soyapango cuando hay accidentes. Okay, yes. De lo contrario, está libre, pero casi siempre hay accidentes. Mm -hmm. Ok, That, that's really bad. Thank you, Jose. Okay, Douglas, what about you? I don't know if you are ready. Okay. Gisela, because he's not there. So, I'm here. Gisela, everything okay? Yes. Okay, what is the best and the worst in El Salvador, Gisela? Creo que no ha pasado, ¿verdad? Gisela. Okay. Aquí estoy. Estaba hablando sin el micrófono activado. Ah, estaba hablando con tu conciencia. Sí. I'm sorry. <laughs> ok, so tell us. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice playa? Para no pronunciarlo mal. Beach. 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 Como decir bicho, pero sin la O. O bichota sin la Ota. Ok, beach, beach. Si, de, beach. si utilizas beach con la T Ajá. antes de la Ch, ahí estás diciendo otra cosa. Ah, ok. Con bitch, bicho, bitch, no hay problema. Bitch, bitch. Okay. No, okay. <laughs> Entonces, the best uh, place in El Salvador is the beach, beach. Mm -hmm. Ok. Y, ¿cómo se dice lo, lo otro? ¿Cuál era? Uh, the worst, lo peor. The worst, uh, Public transportation. Definitely. Public transportation is so bad. I had, so, I had. Yes, everybody hates that. <laughs> but definitely. Okay. Thank you, Gisela. Very nice. Thank you, Chuck. Uh, you're welcome. Julissa, are you ready with your sound? Yes, teacher. Please share it. Boy, 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 boy. Bye, teacher. Casta. Okay, can you read it? Puedes leerla, please. Yes. Mm. I am not a perfect person. There's many things I wish I didn't do, but I uh, continue learning. I never mean to do those things to you. And um, so I have to say before I go. I go. Very nice. Good one. Flor, ya la sabe. Dice, okay, Flor. Carly, también. Yes, the, the reason. Oh, yes. Carly, is it the reason? Yeah. Oh, yes. hasta aquí is, is the name of the band. Thank you. Vean qué románticos están ustedes este viernes. Okay. <laughs> uh, Friday, you're so romantic. Es Thank que you, viernes, Lisa. teacher. Mi cuerpo lo sabe. Yes. I know. Thank you, Julissa. Very nice song. Thank you, Flor and Carly. And Laura, estás por ahí? Are you there? Yes. Eh, a ti te tocaría el lunes, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, ni modo. Anyway. Ok. I'm going to check the attendance list and we say goodbye y decimos adiós, ¿ok? And before I go, um, I want to, well, les voy a comentar algunos que quiero que se me queden un momento. Porque quiero comentarles de una pequeña situación que se está dando con la plataforma. Ya les voy a decir quién se queda. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. En este caso se me va a quedar Adriana. Quiero comentarle. Douglas. Fernando. Kevin. Es necesario. Quiero que solo quiero comentarles algo. Eh, Liliana, ¿por qué no? Solo ellos. Ok. Eh, paso lista de asistencia. Abel, Eden Nilsson, hello. Present, 
Thank you, Alexandra. No, Brenda. Okay, and Cesar. Present teacher. Thank you, Douglas. And Elia. Present teacher. Thank you, Fatima. Good night, teacher. Good night, Fernando. Flor. See you Monday. See you Monday, Gisela. I'm here, teacher. Good, Jose Mauricio. Present. Nice. And Julissa. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carly. Present, teacher. Carly, hoy te quedas un par de minutos, ok, para la sesión. Quickly. Mm -hmm. eh, Laura. Present. Mm, Marvin, thank you. Bye, bye. Bye, Marvin. Eh, Mirna, perdón. Odalis. Present, teacher. Very okay. much. Oscar, thank you. Present, teacher. Kevin, very nice. Present. Eh, Liliana. Mario. Present, teacher. Okay. And Adriana. Okay, my friends. The rest of you. On Monday. Okay, my friend. The cancer. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. See you on Monday. Bye bye. Okay. I don't know if Fernando is ahí. Kevin, Adriana, no sé si están por ahí. Yes. Okay, Adriana, solo comentarte que. Es necesario que hagas la tarea 2 porque solo te falta, ¿verdad? La tarea 2 y el midterm. Ok, okay Adrián, ¿tenés acceso a la plataforma? Sí, yes, pero he estado trabajando de noche. Mm, y te está ahora tocando con, más con, pesado. Con Ajá, pero okay. eh, ¿puedo hacerlo mañana temprano? Sí, ma mañana o pasado, tienes el fin de semana ahí para que te pongas okay. al día. Perfecto, okay. Adrián. Sí, okay, bye. bye. Kevin y Fernando, no sé si están por ahí. Si no, pues creo que. Sí, teacher. Eh, ok. So, um, en el caso de Kevin, sí, también necesito que revises la tarea 1, 2 y el midterm. Ok, porque. Ah, no, el midterm. Sí, sí, necesito que revises eso. Lo que pasa es que el puntaje lo tiene bajo. Entonces, okay. para que no se te acumule, ok, Kevin. Para que no se te acumule, no va a ser que te afecte después. Ok, teacher. Ok, see you on Monday. Bye bye. Muy bien. Eh, Carly, en tu caso, entonces, eh, tienes un buen inglés. Una buena pronunciación. I like it. Me gusta bastante cómo suena. Siempre hay palabras que aprender. Ok, there's always vocabulary that we have to learn. New words. You're going to find new words everywhere. Even I have been teaching English for 15 years and I always find new words even in the books. Imagine the books that I have to teach. There are some even words in, in Spanish. Here. <laughs> You're in Spanish. Well, I guess Spanish is so thin, so it is really difficult. Yeah. Uh, have you ever taken English courses before? Yes, I did. A lot. Um, uh, a lo a lot really. of levels or uh -huh. mm, maybe. Six months in Centro Cultural. Oh, that's a good place. Did you like and, it? Yeah. Uh, because um, falta de dinero, no sé. Porque Lack of money. Iba. Yes, uh -huh. yes. I know it is expensive. I know that's something that I consider that it's the fee is too high. I consider that yeah. too high. Pero vale la But, pena, eso sí. Yeah, it is really good. It's I, dynamic. I know. Uh -huh. eh, eh, y ayudan bastante entonces porque mi tío ya no me pudo ayudar ya lo subí uh -huh. but my grandfather eh, eh, can speak English oh that's really yeah. good so I can practice sometimes with him. With, with him yeah I call him and I visit him eh, in la unión y aprovecho yeah so, you have to take advantage of that oh, definitely yeah because that, that, he lived uh, around 20 years in the USA. Yeah, a lot of years, of course. But even that, that's really positive that he learned English because there are some people who have 
more than 25 years living in the USA and they never learned how to speak English. But Even he learned to, to speak um, Arabic. French, Portuguese. Arabic. Ah, okay, Arabic. Arabic, yeah. Wow, and that's really that's difficult. Yeah, Even the writing, the writing smart. is difficult. Okay, yes, it is difficult because the writing is uh, on the opposite side. Yes. So that's something that uh, our logical is it doesn't no have sé sense. Cómo pudo aprendernos. Oh, he's really intelligent. <laughs> he's so smart. Mm -hmm. uh, his problem is that uh, he can speak it, but he can't write it. Of course, yes. That's, yeah, and, well, uh, and on uh, the speaking activity, uh, I. Le pedí ayuda. Ah, you asked for her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> y no sabíamos cómo escribir uh, disease, uh, como ah, enfermedad. <laughs> yeah, dice, hace. Y el, ajá, y en la llamada me lo decía perfecto y me decía, sí, pero no sé cómo escribirlo, tenés que buscarlo en el diccionario. Y estábamos en la llamada en el speaker y con la clase eh, a medias y con el, con el diccionario en la mano. Eso era uh -huh. un, una operación del FBI que no se imagina. <risas> no, imagino, pero es bueno, aprende bastante. Entonces, y te ayuda en la fluidez. Solo que sí, Carly, te voy a sugerir que le pongas atención en el final de las palabras. La letra S al final de las palabras, que he notado que a veces... ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo, con decir, un ejemplo va. Mm, he knows, knows, ¿verdad? Ajá, las terceras personas, eso. De ahí el resto. Eh, Siempre se escapa alguno en este. Ah, son momento. detallitos que a todos <risas> pasa. Pero your pronunciation is really good. I like it. So Thank keep on, so keep on working. Sigue trabajando. Mm -hmm. Va bastante bien. Yo, de lo que más te puedo sugerir, yo creo que lo estás haciendo bastante bien. Y este, espero estar dándote palabras nuevas, nuevas aunque tú ya sepas. Y sí, yo todo lo anoto, todo lo que no sé lo anoto, incluso en, en mi teléfono, en Instagram, eh, yo tengo muchas cosas en inglés, uh -huh. incluso las explicaciones y, y cosas que la gente comúnmente dice y aquí lo voy anotando también. Sí, dale, dale, es que eso es así, mira, eh, en, en el grupo eh, hay varios que, que tienen un inglés un tanto fluido. Les hace falta vocabulario, mejorar unas pronunciaciones, pero muy, bastante bien. Y hay otros que también están aprendiendo y les cuesta un poco, pero ahí van, cada quien en su ritmo. Entonces yo trato de darles palabras que les ayuden a todos, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, espero que te esté gustando el curso. Creo que vamos bastante bien. Sí, vamos me gusta bastante porque nos enseña también cosas que la gente allá usa comúnmente, sí, es un lenguaje usa. más coloquial. Y, y hay teachers que no lo no hacen. Sí, es que siempre. Y, y no. <risas> Cuadrado, pero ajá. ajá. Sí, como sí, mira, siempre, como el inglés es extenso y nosotros tenemos que hacer inglés para el trabajo, pero imagínate para pedir comida. That, that's really important. Sí. Pues, ¿qué tal? Sí, Así, bro. Si me saliera una oportunidad de trabajo, digo yo, de ir a otro país a trabajar. Podría ser mi trabajo, pero pedir mi comida no. No, pues ese es el punto. Así Una que, no, hombre, Carlos. Mira, a ver, ¿con quién estabas? En, eh, bueno, con de tus compañeros. Venían en el mismo grupo. Casi todos. Con uno sí. Con Abel, Mario, Mauricio, Yulisa, Marvin, Odalis. Creo que esos son todos. Uh -huh. No, pero van bien. Me alegra, me alegra. Y cualquier cosa, sabes que ahí estamos para echar la mano, Carly. Ya quedan solo ocho clases. Ya va a pasar bastante sí, rápido. Lo malo es que los cambian. No es siempre el mismo profesor. <risa> Fíjate que a veces, bueno, no sé si sí nos cambian. Últimamente me han estado cambiando. Pero sí, tuve como tres grupos que los llevé desde el nivel uno hasta el cuatro. Uh -huh. Ay, Ajá. qué ganas fue. Eso, todos eso... me han tocado diferente hasta ahorita. Ah, todos. Ah, sí. vale. Bueno, siempre se aprende de, de cada uno. Y ese teacher que quería aprovechar para que me ayudara con la tarea 16 de la semana 4. A ver, mmm, tenés ya la captura ahí. Eh, sí, se la envié. 
ahorita veo. Porque no, no la entendí mucho. Es que la, la respondí al azar, ¿verdad? simplemente o me equivocaba o la ponía bien, pero <ríe> no la entendí. No lo hay. Se me perdió el teacher. Ah, no, ya la vi. Uh -huh. Bien, Carly, en este caso dice a place such a room in a hotel where travelers can sleep and find another service. Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of, uh, ¿cómo se pronuncia eso? Amenity. Amenities. 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 Mm -hmm. Amenities. Mm -hmm. Te salió buena. Pero, uh -huh. what's the meaning of, of this word? Vaya, es que uh, amenities son los extras que tiene una, ¿cómo se llama? Una habitación. Es, eh, AC, este, ¿cómo se llama? Aire acondicionado, cable y todo. Esos son los amenities, ¿verdad? En cambio, ah. accommodation es, digamos, sí, es, es un cuarto básico. Donde está bien, pero amenities sí. ya, es, ya es extra. Tranquilo, papá, tranquilo. Que ya te pusiste el trapo, yo burro. ¿Ya? Perdón. Así que sí, eso sería, Carla. Ah, vaya. Vale. Entonces había una. Que ver que me, me costó entender. Ah, la cuatro. Ok. ¿Qué, qué significa eso? Mm -hmm. Room service. Room service. No, no, me ha llegado, la no me ha llegado la, la ah, captura, ah, pero. Ya le digo. Ya le digo, ya le enseño. Ahí está. Uh -huh. Your answer, uh, a shuttle. Shuttle es como se llama, un Uber que tiene eh, específicamente el hotel, ¿verdad? Entonces te dice your own transportation, que es tu propio transporte, y la otra es transporte del hotel. Eso se llama shuttle. Ah, uh -huh. ah vale. Ah, pues esa era mi única duda. Excelente, pero va bien, Carly. Ok. Ya se nos acabó el tiempo, Carly. Ok. Así que espero haberte ayudado y cualquier cosa, si necesitas ayuda. Adelante. Es que ya estabas ahí tranquilo, papá. Ay, chate, chate. Ay, no. Bueno, gracias por su ayuda, Ticha. Y sí, hombre, Carly, ya sabes, ahí estamos. Cualquier cosa, ahí me escribís, ¿oíste? Y por ahí su paciencia, para... porque hablo mucho. Hombre, no te preocupes, ahí estamos para echar la mano siempre, ¿ok? Con gusto. Buenas noches, Ticha. Bye, bye.